spoiler alert. This is a spoiler alert. If you don't want to hear any spoilers, put your fingers in your ears. Well, this is it, then. There's something I want to say. I'm sorry I put you through all that trouble. Forget it. It's in the past. Well, you've been a good friend to me, Thomas. If anyone had told me that I'd have been friends with a, a man like you, I'd have not believed them. They've been through a lot together. Let's not forget Thomas kissed him in his sleep, so the fact that they're still friends means a big thing to Thomas. I'd best be off. And it's sort of in that moment, or the moments thereafter, that he realises I can never be happy, you know? What I wanted has just gone out the door, and he'll, he'll be fine. He'll get a woman, and he'll settle down. And it really sort of dawns on Thomas that that's never going to happen to him unless he changes himself. So for the first time ever in Downton, we see Thomas question his sexuality himself as a gay man. I expect it's difficult for you with Jimmy gone. We all need a special friend from time to time. I wasn't special to him, not truly. He's almost surprised as he's saying it, because he never gives himself away, particularly not to Mrs Bates. But there's a moment, again, at Jimmy's left, he's feeling down, he's feeling low, she's sort of clocked that, and he just, for once in his life, just tells someone the truth. There are times when I'd like to belong. Does that sound funny? Not to me, not at all. Have you decided where to put the memorial? No. Carson? Not yet, my lady. Robert is being sidelined. The expectations of what, what it means to be the, the sort of leader of the estate is changing. The, the, you know, those sort of values are shifting. Not only is Carson now reigning supreme in terms of the committee, he's also disagreeing with his lordship on, on where this war memorial should be. Surely the right place is in the center of the village where people will pass it every day. Will it be peaceful and quiet there, my lord? A fit place for mourning? Well, that's what they're doing in Sowerby, and I'm certain it's where most of them will be. And is our memorial to be no better than most of them? Ultimately, of course, you know, Robert is right, which I you know, would like to remind people that Carson isn't always right. But it's nice to see a bit of tension between Carson and, and Robert, because normally they are two sides of the same coin, really, but to see a bit of opposition between them. But I think I love the way that Carson actually, even though he disagrees, will, will defer with dignity. Thank you, Mrs. Elkett. Your words have made quite an impression on me. Don't you agree, Carson? I do, yes. Do people think we're some sort of hotel that never presents a bill? You've already made that joke. Yeah, they've been married 30-something years, and there, there could be a degree of, not, if not complacency, then, then at least uh, the familiar pattern of everyday life. And I think uh, that is another mistake Robert makes, is to slightly take it all for granted. Lots of things never change. <laughs> There's coffee in the drawing room. Thank you. We'll be ready in. Hi, sis. Come here, girl. So when uh, an art historian comes riding over the hill with his etchings, yeah, we better take care. And tell your friend Bricker to stop flirting with Isis. There is nothing more ill-bred than trying to steal the affections of someone else's dog. Very well, I'll tell him. Start flirting. 